I'm Angela Sharp. And I'm Colin Curry. And welcome to today's Daily Mix. Woohoo! There we go. Uh, you know, on my show on Monday, I talked about Taylor Swift going to town. You did. And I made a guess at who was going to be her celebrity guest. And I was right. It was Nelly. It was Nelly. It yeah, was Nelly. Nelly right. showed up yeah, last yeah, night, okay. helped out Taylor a little bit. Were you there? The no, I wasn't there. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? No, I just, I just thought it's interesting that Nelly, you know, he was with Florida Georgia Line on the weekend with them, and then he's with Taylor Back. Swift now. Right. You know, he's, he's at home. He's kind of right. country. You know, he same with Taylor. He has I, a song with Florida Georgia Line. He has a duet with Tim McGraw. I, I once asked like him. Country if, music now. I know you like country music. I'm so excited. You know, I asked Nelly. Mm -hmm. I said, Have you gone country? And he said, Mike, I'm going to quote him. No, baby girl, they've gone hip hop. Uh, so, do you think country is uh, kind of hip hop? I, I think music is. I think music is music. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm with you on that one. You know, I'm so uh, I think country is country still. <laughs> but you, know. you like it. Right? But I've been listening to country yes. because of this girl, yes. because of her her show. That's and uh, country music is, uh, is all right. So if That's you don't good. listen to country music, I, I think you uh, should try it out. Yes. I nice challenge everyone to just <laughs> turn their radio to another station for a day, whole just to day. Just check out the whole the thing. Day. I like it. Yep. That'd be nice. Yeah. That's our challenge to you. There we go. Um, and what I challenge you is not to copy and paste this thing on Facebook, all right? Everybody's seen this. Facebook privacy hoax. It was from three years ago while well, it's making its rounds again. Users think that their status update will lock their accounts and protect their photos and, and videos and all their statuses. Well, that's a hoax. Your photos and videos are a fair game. They always have been. Now, Facebook does not own your content, but the site has permission to use any photos, videos, or status you post publicly. So if you want to tighten up security, make sure you're posting everything private and your things private. But stop posting that thing. And then don't post the thing that makes fun of that thing either. It's all annoying. Stop posting everything. They yes. put it on every social media site. Yes. I, hate that. I know, right? <laughs> I hate that. Uh, and speaking of social media sites, I've seen this burger on Facebook yes. mostly. It's, it's from Burger King. It's a Halloween burger. It's a variant of their Kuro burger sold in the Japanese restaurants. The Halloween Whopper is what they're calling. It's a pitch black bun infused with A1 sauce the sauce will be baked into the bun that sounds good used on the it does sound good used on the burger along with mayonnaise which and we just get them a hold of mayonnaise for you we can hold the mayonnaise me, for you but the rest <laughs> of the whopper uh the, the kuro burger is is, is is a sported black colored cheese see the black cheese is creepy that burger right there on your screen right now that one is creepy looking and the the halloween whopper will use american cheese so i, so I guess it won't look too it, creepy it won't be but creepy. the black looks a little more halloween -style. well it does but would you eat the black cheese i wouldn't I don't. I wouldn't want a burger with a with a black bun. See, it's kind of weird all together. Black bun doesn't bother me. If you're gonna make it weird, just make it really, really weird. <laughs> all right. So we're going to Japan to get one of their burgers. Right. Apparently, <laughs> burger only be available for a limited time. So if you want a Halloween Whopper, you have to do that this Halloween season. So. Yeah, check it out. All right. Let's get started on today's Daily Mix. More food news, Bird and Barrel is taking over the old Popeyes at Cherokee and Jefferson. Now I've heard nothing but great things about this place also yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. It's a fast, casual fried chicken spot. Now they're gonna have locally sourced fast food. So inside the food will be cooked to order and the drive-thru will have a limited menu. They won a $25,000 in marketing assistance in an online contest by Hatchback and Bird and Barrel can be found on Facebook. Now, they have other stuff than just chicken. They've got something called Kool-Aid Pickles, which at least the people on my Facebook are just in love with. So I'm definitely gonna have to check them out. It sounds like they're chicken, pretty yummy. The chicken did look pretty yummy too. Normally people say like gourmet chicken, chicken yeah, and it's gonna... fast. It's, what is gourmet fast chicken? But it looked pretty good. It looks good, like so. we might have to check it out. I would, I would definitely try it. Thrillers ranked Missouri's best burger and four of the 14 came from right here in St. Louis. Five-star burger made the list, particularly for Dad's Green Chili Cheeseburger. Uh, Carl's Drive-In for the double cheeseburger. Carl's Drive-In <laughs> is the absolute best place ever. And their homemade root beer. 
the year. That is, and that's, that is that the draw. Amazing. Oh my gosh, that's the draw. Really is you have, if you haven't been there, go. We, we should go now. We They're should closed. Go what? now. We got a lot of places to, to go we, now. We're gonna be really, <laughs> really full. Full. Let's <laughs> 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 try this one first instead of the okay. Halloween. Yeah, we'll do this one first. Uh, Halloween Carl's. one second. <laughs> Dave and Tony's is the winner because you can get any combination you can think of. And BC's chicken or the Bills Burger Meister Burger is a must. You got to try that, guys. A lot of these burgers look really yeah. good. Yeah, and I consider myself a burger connoisseur in Carl's. And that root beer, and it comes in a frosted mug. Oh, it's just so good. Now, do you remember that girl? I talked about her on the Daily Mix. She took her remember. senior photos in a Taco Bell and made all sorts of headway. And now her life has changed forever. Right, Taco Bell <laughs> noticed her. They flew her out to LA, Brittany Creech, AKA Mo Girl Problems. She's now starring in a new Taco Bell commercial. In the commercial, she does in fact play a super fan of Taco Bell. Why does this never happen to me? I'm always posting about stuff I like. Nobody's well, ever once flown me out. Senior pictures though, and senior pictures. Something cool happened. I wanna be on a commercial. <laughs> I'm a fan of a lot of stuff. Carl's driving. Carl's. Laura Lee Club of Cape Girardeau is starring in a video of her own. She was unable to go to Taylor Swift concert due to her cancer diagnosis, but she made her own version of Shake It Off with the help of St. Louis Children's Hospital. And everybody was involved too, so the video looked really cool. Uh, she hoped to catch Taylor Swift's attention, but it's unclear if that's happened uh, just yet. But she did catch the attention of People's Magazine. She's on the right track. She got 20, People Magazine. 1,000 YouTube views. You can check that out on St. Louis Children's uh, Hospital on YouTube, or you can look at your screen right now. Look at the people at the hospital are dressed up for the video too. This is really cool. Really? <laughs> Uh, pound, shake it off, Laura Lee. That's the tag. So if you hashtag that, Laura Lie, I'm sorry. Pound, uh, shake it off, Laura Lie. <laughs> it, it's a fun music video, and they call it People, People Magazine, so I'm guessing Taylor will see it if she hasn't just she yet. She should, definitely. Now, you know, the Cardinals, injury after injury, and Monday night's injury was super scary. Stephen Piscotti was actually carted off the field Monday night after he had a collision with Peter Borges. Now, what happened was, Steven's head hit Borges' knee. You can see it right there on your screen. Oh my goodness, it was so horrible. He was actually knocked out. Scotty was knocked out. Borges tried to shake him awake. He had to call for help. It took 16 minutes for them to get him on a cart and they actually carted him off the field. He was able to give a wave to the crowd. It took 16 minutes? 16 minutes to get him, because well, they had to stabilize his neck and his head, you know how that stuff goes. Mm -hmm. Now, luckily, all tests were negative. He just has a bruised head. And that was the opener of the three game series against Pirates, who we really would like to beat today. So Tuesday they ran out, this morning they lost. Last I checked, right before we got on here, they were leading by two, so hopefully they can hold on. If they win tonight's game, they will win their division. Cool. Yeah. And in more MLB news, former MLB pitcher Randy Wells has opened a baseball academy in his hometown of Belleville, Illinois. That's right near us too. It's a K3 academy, provides year-round pitching, batting, and field instruction to local ball players. They provide all of the following equipment, uh, private instruction in baseball camps each month, the house at King's Sport Club. You can find out more information on that at K3, that's the number three baseball academy. Com. Very neat. And iPads are now allowed in the dugouts. The Cardinals are the first team to take everybody. advantage of this. Yeah, everybody's going to go this way. It can have stats and matchups and all sorts of other information right at the touch of your fingertip. Now, this is replacing all the notebooks and papers that they usually have. It's only iPads now, no Androids. And before the game starts, Wi Fi and cellular data have to be disabled. I don't know how they can I check that out. Why? Well, they because don't want you to be able to look. They want you to have all your data on there. They don't want you to be like doing stuff while the game's going on. Like, so they want you to cheat. Yeah, they don't want you to cheat. They want you to like have it all. They don't want you to be on the Wi-Fi. But I don't know how they can check that. How can you? What would you do to cheat? Well, you can see the stats of what's happening right now in the game, and you can find probably other information about that team that you can't find out by sitting in the dugout. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. it's got the Cardinals yeah. are checking it out. They really like it. And I know, okay, this, I love this. So every year, a lot of teams do this. The they kind of haze. Yeah, I know, the Angela Jog, which you get happy. They kind of haze the rookies. And well, this year, the Cardinals rookies got to wear Speedos, goggles, and like little caps. That's to the airport. Now, they're to the airport. First of all, what are you thinking when you see these gentlemen walk into an airport like this and you're like, oh my goodness, that's the St. Louis Cardinals. I, see, I shake my head like I know he's seeing. Carlos Mantina, so he tweeted that photo of the rookies, and that's pretty good. I like the Speedos and Goggles, but I don't think anything compares to last year. Last year they dressed up 
like the Rams cheerleaders. <laughs> there they are right there. Cullen, That's what can I make you wear in the show as like some sort of hazing? Can I dress you up like a cheerleader? I, I, I have access to balloon crew outfits. I'd rather wear a Speedo than be a cheerleader. Really? You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be a cheerleader? I mean, you know. Uh, I don't know. I think with the hairy legs that the man had. But I have to, like, I can change when sexy. I get here. I don't have to drive here. No, no. They were at the airport, so you're going to have to drive here. You're going to have to do whatever <laughs> you need to do <laughs> as a cheerleader. Uh, you know. <laughs> the NFL replaced their binders back in 2014 with a Microsoft Surface. Surface, I'm sorry. Pro tablet. And speaking of the NFL, it's still unclear if this will be the final season for the Rams in St. Louis. I hate this whole story, really. I know. <laughs> Some NFL owners are strongly opposed in moving the Rams to LA. They think the San Diego Chargers or Oakland Raiders are a better fit and would be less disruptive for the existing fan base. At least 24 of the 32 NFL owners have to approve any move. What are your thoughts, Amber? What are your thoughts? I know that you really sporting. want the, the, I love I love sports, so I like that we have a baseball team. I like that we have. And I hate that we don't have a basketball team. That kind of well, sucks see? for the my so whole I don't I don't think that career. Yeah. So I think we should keep them. I think we should definitely keep the Rams. St. Louis Business Journal catapult competition. Women can submit a 60 second YouTube video telling what they plan to change in their business or life to catapult them to success. Now four finalists will receive a professional coaching session to prepare her and refine her presentation. They will then pitch this idea to the St. Louis Business Journal Women's Conference in January 2016. Now winners will receive a $10,000 package of technology service from MasterCard to catapult the, her to success. Entries are due by 5 October the 9th. You can enter at slbjwomensconference.com slash catapult. Over 120, I repeat, 120 cats rescued from a South County home this week. They range in age from newborn kitten to adult. The Humane Society of Missouri hopes to adopt out as many of the cats as possible. As a result of this emergency rescue, the Humane Society is in need of tiles and blankets if you would like to donate. They've also altered their adoption hours at the Macla location from noon to six through October 2nd. Even before this rescue, the shelter was at cat capacity. Cat capacity! <laughs> cat capacity! Capacity. <laughs> <laughs> They're currently running adoption specials at all of their locations all day. through October 4th. So if you want a cat, a, a fairly uh, priced, now, now be the priced time under to, market yeah. value cat. <laughs> now, now is the time to go adopt now's a cat. Now's the time to definitely get a cat. Just away. don't adopt all 120 of them. That's how you get in the problem. In the the same, now it'll just happen again next month. They're raising the adoption fee for, they're waiving, I'm sorry, totally waiving the adoption fee for adult cats ages six months or older and reducing the fee for kittens under six months of age. You can visit hsmo.org for more information. All you cat lovers out there, make sure you uh, you check that out. Yeah, absolutely. Now this is cool. Escape the Room. It's a real live adventure game, right? We get to go do this, right? You can find hidden objects, you solve puzzles, you look for clues, your job is to get out of the room. Now they have something called the dig, which is for 10 players, gotcha. or the agency, which is up to eight players. This, this is so neat. This is for an hour. Yeah, you can do this for the hour. Obviously they have to let you out even if you can't solve the thing. They're not gonna like lock you in there forever. But it's way cooler if you like solve the, the thing so you get can out. get out yeah. of the room. Right. They say it would be really good for businesses, a bonding experience. St. Louis, escape the room .com. So we should all do it. Everybody here yeah, at SCL TV. Everybody here at SCL TV. We should TV definitely do it and, yeah. and tell everyone about it. How yeah. it went. We should. How I Colin think that would be saved so. everyone from whoa, the room. Whoa, 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 Colin. Everybody else was so <laughs> clueless and I saved, I saved everybody. Vintage <laughs> Vinyl is one of America's best record stores uh, in America. Everybody actually. loves Vintage Vinyl. Thrillers can pile the list of stores in all shapes and sizes by genres by giving bonus points for longevity and regional focus while still taking it into consideration the newer businesses. Now, Vintage Vinyl is known for its in-store shows with free beer most of the time. It's often regarded as one of the best shops in the Midwest, and I did not know that. Yeah. They have everything from punk to hip-hop in multiple formats, including tapes, CDs, and of course, the old school Vinyl records. records, that's what people want. You can visit VintageVinyl.com for more information on that. Everybody check that out. Everybody has to check that out. Now, I've been sporting my Ambush scarf all day, and right now we have Fred Slow, the broadcaster, and Andrew Hayes, the owner of the St. Louis Ambush. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Now, you. you guys are gearing up for your season, right? Oh, yeah, it's coming up quick. All right, what can we expect this season from the Ambush? 
Well, the last game of the season, I promised our fans that we were going to improve on the field. We've had a rough two seasons, so I guaranteed that we were going to be better. We went out, we signed some of the top players in the league, and, and I'm really excited to see these guys. I started to see them at practice, and uh, we're going to have a, a pretty dominant team on the field, we're hoping. That's awesome. Now, there's a huge following for soccer here in St. Louis. You've seen that, right? You've seen that? Yeah, you know, I, I've been involved in uh, minor league sports as a team owner for 15 years. My first venture into soccer has been here in St. Louis, and everyone said, oh, St. Louis is a soccer market. I've heard that for every sport in every city. And right. I, I was right. like, okay, well, we'll, we'll let right. me we'll see. see. Right. And, exactly. you know, I, I relocated my family here from Florida, and uh, it was a great decision. You know, we really like St. Louis. St. Louis is home. And uh, the fans have, have jumped on board from, from the beginning. I mean, we're top in the league for attendance, ticket sales. You know, we have a lot of support, and uh, we're real grateful for that and hope to continue that. Yeah, and you guys do a lot of really fun things. One of those is your family fun day that's coming up. Yeah, you know, uh, this weekend, uh, October 3rd, we have our free fan fest and a preseason game. So mm -hmm. we're taking on Cedar Rapids, which is an expansion team. And uh, from 4 to 6 Saturday night, we also are doing, you know, there'll be food out there, music, um, and inflatables for kids, all kinds of stuff. And it's totally free, free parking, free entry. It's going to oh, be a great cool. time. Very cool. You guys offer, uh, offer season tickets for this uh, soccer league as well. What all do season tickets entail besides yeah. just tickets? You know, they get the same seats mm -hmm. every game, discounted prices, they mm -hmm. get free parking. Um, you know, it's the best way to uh, make sure you're there, especially this year when we're going to be in the playoffs. Right. You want to okay. make sure you got those you seats make sure in the postseason. You got your spot, the right. seat that you want for the when the postseason comes. Now, this this family fun day that you have going on, you, kids, you want kids to come to that too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. No, we we you know, a big part of our fan base is kids and families, and you know our players are real accessible. So mm -hmm. during the tailgate party from four to six. Players will be out there signing autographs, taking pictures, maybe playing on the inflatables with the kids. Who knows? I mean, they're they're a good group of guys. So, um, and then you know, we also have something that's pretty cool. Is uh, our DJ for the team is 11 years old. It's my son, that's and he cool. is what? Uh, yeah, he, he's the youngest DJ in professional sports. You, I, I you, think that's safe to say. Yeah. You broadcast with with his son, the DJ. He well, does the music during the game. Got you. Okay. He does all the in-house promotions. And you're your own worst critic, obviously, but mm -hmm. but we oh, the on the field product is outstanding. And when there's there's no action, or there's dead ball. The atmosphere in there in the family arena is just through the roof. And that's you know AJ does a great job, and we have really great in-house promotion. The entire experience from the time you come into the family arena to the time mm -hmm. you leave is non-stop action, non-stop entertainment. Um, overall, it's it's a product you want to take your family to. That's really fun. A AJ is your son. That's the one who schooled me at the right. yeah, I played I know, I saw there was a picture celebrity yeah. soccer for the, the ambush. They had a celebrity soccer game. Apparently, they were running okay. out of celebrities, so they asked me to come. Uh, and I, they his got son Angela just Sharp. schooled me, just stole the ball, and I was like, oh. He's, he probably pushed out of the way. Right. And was See you like, later. He's, about it. he's probably been around it for a long time. What's your reason? See you later. I'll okay, kind of stand here. It was really fun. A lot of fun. You guys do a lot of fun events like that throughout the year. Yeah, you know, we one of our most popular ones mm -hmm. is uh, our mascot game. And, yes, the and mascot game is cool. The last two weeks, I, I keep getting these emails. When's the mascot game? When is that? So that's going to be on December 27th, and all the mascots, you know, Fred Bird, Louie, all the, yeah, you know, colleges, that. everything. They, they come out, they play a soccer game, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I wonder how they pick who gets in a mascot there, suit. There is nothing better <laughs> than a bunch of mascots playing soccer, I don't think. I yeah, think that no, is. I mean, and we can get you in a mascot if you want. I mean, we can I, find I, one I for you. I definitely scrub it up, man. I don't know how I'm excited for that. And kick a little bit. <laughs> Where can people find out more information about it? the coming season, where they can get tickets, fanfare, yep. all you that You know, stuff? Our, our website's stlambush.com. Okay. Uh, that's the easiest way. Our office number is 636-477-6363. Single game tickets go on sale this Saturday at 4 o'clock. Right so okay. this is when they start going on sale. Right, and you don't want to miss this weekend of the inflatables and all the fun. Yep. And, and it really is, you can get access to those players. They're very accessible. So it's kind of cool. Especially you supposed to take little ones too. You get to meet an actual yep. you know, professional athlete. So that's awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming on. We really appreciate you joining us. Thank you. And don't forget you guys, after you check out their website, make sure you check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, drop us a line right here at The Daily Mix at sctv.net. We want to hear from you. And that is it for The Daily Mix, but keep it right here on STL TV and experience St. Louis. See you next time. Thank you.